guys, Autumn here today to do my week four of a wrap up for March. Um, I read six books this week, so I'm going to talk about those. Um, it is 8-12 on Sunday, March 31st, so there is a possibility that I will read more books um, today because um, I have the day off. So anyways, I'm just filming early. Um, so if there is, if I do finish books, I will talk about them next week. Um, but anyways, I'm going to talk about the six books I read this week. So the first three I'm going to show on my iPad, and then the last three are physical. So the first one is Kissing Her by Alexa Riley. This came out on the 27th. This is a part of Kindle Unlimited. Um, I gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars. This follows B and uh, I don't know how you say his name. R Ragnar? <laughs> um, who steals. Um, he makes his money from um, stolen goods and stuff. And then B um, was in a family um, that she wasn't very tr treated very well. And one night, um, Ragnar uh, meets her, and they're in. Uh, they have it. This is an instant lovey story. So if you're not a fan of that, don't read it. Um, but. Um, they have an instant connection and then he goes to his her parents house and says that he wants to marry her so yes i gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars and then i reread after by anna todd for the after a -thon. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I read this back in December 2013? 13. Um, and <coughs> sorry. And when I read this, I gave it 5 stars. Um, but that was 5 years ago. And I've read so many other books now that I know strongly when I give a, f a book 5 stars, I know that it is a 5 star. Um, I, re I still really liked it and enjoyed it and um, everything. It's just a solid four stars um, for me now. Um, and I'm super excited to see the movie that comes out next Friday, um, which I'm going to see next Friday. So I'm super excited. But basically this follows Hardin and Tessa um, and their relationship and... Um, Hardin is not a nice guy, and I don't, this relationship is not healthy at all, but it's still, I like to read it in fiction, um, so, yes, but I really like this still, and I'm super excited to see the movie. And then, the last one I'm going to show you on my iPad is Switch Bitter by Sarah Nye. This was the Read Me Romance podcast for the week. So this started on Monday the 25th and ended on Friday the 29th. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. Or 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, this follows Piper who has a crush on Ryder. And uh, the guys, I don't know what sport they are. I don't remember that. Um, are having an auction um, and Piper's friends bid on Ryder for Piper and um, yeah I really enjoyed this this was like just a teaser I, I would really want to see sorry I would really want to see a full book on Ryder and Piper or another little novella but if this does release I mean, when this does release on ebook, she might um, do some bonus content, and it, hopefully she does. But I really enjoyed that. Um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend listening to the um, Read Me Romance podcast because you get a full, I mean, a, a, 
little novella um, book every week, but it's not just for that, but Tessa uh, and uh, Mel and, what is her name? I'm blanking on the other one's name. Um, are really good. Like their banter is really, really good. Um, and highly, highly recommend listening um, to it. Now on to the other three books I read. They are part of a series. So the first one is Fallen Too Far by Abby Kleins, which is book one in the Rosemary Beach series. Um, I decided on Friday that I wanted to reread this series. Um, and it's kind of funny because the first time I read this book was in March 2014. So um, it's been a few years since I've read it. And like after I, uh, when I first read this, I gave it five stars. But after rereading it, I gave it four stars. Um, this follows um, Blair and Rush. And um, I really highly recommend this series. Abby Lines is such like a guilty pleasure read for me. Like these are super fun and enjoyable. Um, and they're like soap operas. Um, so if you are for that, I really recommend. But I gave this four out of five stars. As I said, it follows Blair and Rush. Blair just lost her mother, so she moved, um, she decides to move to um, Rosemary Beach, Florida, um, to go spend some time with her dad that she hasn't seen in three years, I think. Um, and then um, she meets Rush. Then I read book two, which is Never Too Far, which I reread in March 2014, or I read in March 2014. And then I just reread it. I gave this five out of five stars. Or still, this is my favorite book in the um, series. Um, well, in Blair's and uh, Rush's series. Um, and highly recommend. This just is a continuation of their story. I don't want to give you spoilers. So this just follows Blair and Rush again. Um, and then I read Forever Too Far, which is the third book in the um, Rush and Blair's um series. I gave this four out of five stars. I reread this one in, I mean, I read this one in April um, 2014. I gave this five out of five stars when I read it, and then I just reread it, and I give it four out of five. Um, and I really liked it, um, but those are the six books I read. Um, what are some uh, books you read this week? And if you want a full review on any of these, just let me know. I'm more than happy to do them. I'm pretty sure um, if I reread the whole series, which I plan to do, um, I will do a series review on um, this. But I might break it up between like the couples. So, yes. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, as my video yesterday um, said, I am doing Vita, so I will have videos every day in April, um, and I'm super excited. But these are all the books I read this um, week, and um, yeah, as I said, what books did you read this week? And I'll see you guys later. Bye.